All right, I'm doing my next uh, next video on exercise 22. Before we get into exercise 22, we need to do some like basic file processing. Uh, basically, because we're going to be given access to a file, and we need to be able to read through it and look for certain things within the file. A lot of stuff on here. I would just say, you know, there's a lot of details on here. Great if you want to read it. I think I would really focus on the execution of this, and I think this is the key execution that you're going to look for. Um, so this is going to open a... Actually, there's even better ways of doing this. I would say I like this better than I like that because like, for range in five, like that's this is would just print like the first five lines. I like this. We're going to open a file. We're going to say forward line in that file, do some stuff. Um, so I'm going to copy. I know for my problem, I'm going to be given a a list of files. I need to be able to like open it up and search through it. So I'm going to start with that file listings. Let's get this open up here and yeah. So I'm going to say right now, just to get started with, it should look something like this. And these should all be indented a little bit more. I don't need these lines of code. This is what I'm going to be working on. Um, and with open, it shouldn't be this name. It should be like whatever file name gets passed in. In this case, it's this, but I think they could pass in a different one for testing. I'm not sure if they will. I don't think they actually have another one in here, but just in case. Um, I'm going to just call this file. So for line and file. So basically what this is going to do... Um, I almost did sout on that one. That's not so good. Just to be clear about what this is going to do, if I run this code, because I really want to be make, make sure that it is printing out everything that I kind of think it should. So I'm going to go through here, and this will just print out all the all the lines of the file. We can compare that to the actual contents of this list, and they should match up. All right. Um, I'm actually... Okay. So let's look through the actual content of this thing. I want to make a list um, to have all these different things. Okay, so we want to write a function that's going to take this list and it's going to return a list of tuples. Okay, so what I see out of uh, with these things in it, so what I see is for each line of code, we need to extract these things, each, each line of text, we need to extract these things from it. Um, and then we need to store those things in a tuple, add it to a list, and then return the list when we're done. I, a couple things to notice in here is that this is just one long string. But if you look in here carefully, like this is an integer, this is an integer, this is an integer, this is an integer. Um, so we have to kind of take that into account. All right, hopefully I can get this done relatively quickly. We'll see. Uh, I haven't looked at, I haven't solved, I, I've looked at this one over. I haven't actually solved it in a little while. So let's take a look at this right now. I am just going to take a whole bunch of these and I'm going to paste them into our same thing I always do for these, put them into a regex document. Oh, let me find this. Oh, it's like right here. So I'm just going to delete this, paste that in there. And what I need to get out of here, I want to get like, I think I want to get this value. I'm going to get these. Um, all right. What do we want to get out of here? Like these are the things that we want. So size the, all right. So I need to mess around with regex a little bit. I need to really start with here. Um, okay. So like the pattern that I see here is like, how can I start to access this? Well, I know that it should come after more than two spaces. I see a lot of single spaces in here. I'm going to say it's going to come after two spaces. So let's say slash s slash s. Um, that's where our thing is going to get started. Or it could be like, we could do like two plus. Let's see. Let's say um, two plus. Would that work? Yeah. I don't like that it's doing this. Or we could do numbers. Maybe numbers are a better place to start. Because I don't like the fact. I wonder what we could do here. If there's other better ways we could do this. Like could we do. And that it could be. This is just me just messing around. You can, you can tap ahead and I'll have a better answer for you. I'm wondering if I could do something like this. Right, could be one of those. Could be four or two. Nope, don't like that. All right, I'm just going to go with the numbers. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, we should have some set of numbers, let's say digits, um, and it should be anywhere between four and six. Okay, so we get that. I'm just going to watch, I want to try and just copy this entire thing. And so I'm going to say after that, there should be a space. And then after that, there should be three letters. So I'm going to say, I think that's slash W. 
three. It's always going to be three, and there's going to be a space. And then, oh, there could be another space. And then there could be somewhere between, there could be some numbers somewhere between one and two. And there's always going to be a space. And then there's going to be, well, it's always five values here. Now I need to figure out, do I want to calculate, do I need just the hours? Do I need the hours and the minutes? Let me look back to my exercise here. Uh, I need hours and minutes separately. Okay, so that's easy. So I can do like, oh, where am I thinking? So I can say the next two things are going to be a couple decimal values. Or just, I uh, keep seeing D and thinking decimal. That's actually what it means. Uh, some digits. And then slash D, two. And then after this, looks like we always have an S. Uh, we always have a space. And then it's just kind of like whatever is else is left in there. Oh, but I might want to do... Because uh, I think I, I want to have like the file type. I want to have the file name, I believe, and then the file type. File name, oh, but not the type. Oh, no, okay. The entire file name. Oh, well, that makes it easier. So, yeah, just basically what I had. So, everything after this will be all that. And let's store some. All right, so now we have all this stuff created. Let's start, let's start making some groups. Um, so, I think this is going to be my first group, all these numbers. That's one group. And now let's see, the next thing up that I need to do is, or I need to get the month, I need to get the day. So that means that, do I need the size? I guess I'm gonna skip ahead. Size, okay. Month, so month is gonna be this thing here. Okay, oh good, now we're seeing my groups down here. I'm going to see the groups, yeah, I'm going to see the match numbers, interesting, okay, I care mostly about the groups here, now what else I need, I need to have the month, and then I think I want to have the month, day, hour, minute, so this is day, right, could be um, hour, minute, and then this is going to be the file name. It's going to be all of this stuff. So that should get me. I have my match. This is my match number. This is my size. All right now I have access to all of this stuff. Oh, I see that I missed one somehow. Oh, I see because I did. I said the minimum size could be four, but really it should be three. There we go. And now we're capturing. And now we can look down here. Should capture everything appropriately. All right, so just kind of working my way left to right, trying to, you know, get the appropriate start point and then, um, yeah, and then start, make my, make my regex so it's going to match everything, and then I'm going to go back through and select my groups. All right, this is my regex. I'm sure there's multiple regexes for this. Um, yeah, um, so let's go back into our code, and we actually use this in our code. Let's take a look. Listings. All right, so we have all this code. I think it's important, too, that I copied a whole bunch of these. Maybe I could have copied even more. Oh, look, I see one value that's going to be maybe out of my range. Let's copy this. Let's just put this whole thing in there. Let's go back into this one. Yeah, see, I'm missing. Oh, it could be as, as little as two. Okay, it could be as little as two digits. That's interesting. Okay, and I'm still safe because there's no two digits anywhere on the left here. Oh, and then this one, I'm missing up this one too because it could be as many as seven digits. I feel like there's probably a better way of doing this. But... I don't know, maybe one of you guys will come up with a better version. That's what I got. So I'm going to go with that. And then, all right, let me go into my file listings. I'm going to make this as a, I'm going to make this as a sh string. I'm going to say this is my pattern. This one I have to, so this thing doesn't disturb me as I'm looking through here. All right, so for line and file, I need to do, let's see, what's the best way of doing this? I think I want to do find all. Let's do temp is equal to re find all. We are going to pass in our pattern, and then we're going to pass in our string, which is going to be our line. And then let me just like print temp. And let's put a little tag in here. We'll debug this. All right, what do we got in our 
temp. Oh, okay. So we have a. So this is not too bad. Um, only thing I see here is like temp is actually like a tuple. Okay. So it's something about like when we use groups in here, it's going to produce a. It's going to store all the stuff in a tuple for. For some reason, um, it's like a list of tuples. But there's only a single tuple in there. I think we could make this. I wonder if there's not better ways of doing this. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to say zero. Because then I just, then at least it's not like a list and then a tuple. Let's try that again. Again, there might be a better way. I'll, I'll look and see if I can find a better way of doing this afterwards. But uh, now at least, okay, I have a, this thing is a tuple. Um, I think what I could also do is just like, I mean, maybe just like convert this thing into a list. I feel like lists are just easier to work with here. Let's try this again. Again, I'm trying to work through, like there might be a better way of doing this, but this is just like how I would approach this problem. And so we see now like, okay, great. I have a list. Everything is basically appropriate. Um, so the last thing I really need to do, so now I'm good to go. Cause I know if this is gonna work for the first line, I know my regex is gonna match all the lines. So now I'm gonna make an answer. I'm gonna make an answer. But like you'll notice like I started with a single line, getting a single line work, making sure that I'm testing everything, making sure that this thing's printing out the right thing, uh, collecting a single value and putting it in a list. Yeah, so let's do all that. And then what are we gonna do next? Oh, now I just want to, now I just need to do answer dot, let's append temp. And then let's just see, and then we'll return, we can return answer. And I'm gonna comment this out. And then let's see if we can print, let's just print the result of file listing. Oh, okay, so we got this whole giant mess of stuff, but I think it's actually pretty good. I don't know about this form, oh, probably because I just changed the formatting on it. Uh, let's try and run it again. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, I think it's okay though. All right, so, Oh yeah. Okay. So now we have these things here. Not quite done yet because I want to I think that I want I want to go through and I can want to convert a couple of these things into I want to convert a couple of these things into integers. Actually, I'm just going to go back to my debugging. Um, we'll check our temp. We have this thing here. Okay. Um, so I just want to convert one, I want to convert index 0, 2, 3, 4. I think there's, again, there might be better ways to do this. I'm going to do this. 4, index in, all right, a little fancy, fancy-ish thing I can do. I can set a list of values I want to access. I want to access 0, I want to access 2, 3, 4. And then I want to say temp index is equal to, I think this should work. I do feel like this is not the best way of doing it, but just where we're at. And then, yeah, I think that should work. So let's try and run that again. At least it's converting the values just the way we want. And then we're going to append the answer at the end. And then we return it. Okay, so that looks mostly good to me. Let's see if there's anything else that we need to do. Um, oh, we need to return these as a tuple. I think that's fine. I think we converted these into a list. I think we can just... Um, Write a function should return a list of tuples. Okay, so we have a list here. We just need to convert this back into a tuple. Let's say, how about I just do, oh, I wonder if I can just do this. Uh, I don't think that's going to be quite what I want. So I should really just show you the answer instead of working through this, but I'm going to just, again, show you my thinking. I have temp. Let's see, like, what is the contents of answer? And eh, it didn't quite work out. I wonder, could I try like this? I don't think this is going to work, but I just want to test it. Yeah, let's go ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead. Let's see here. So we're going to collect the values. Let's go on to continue. Let's append this. Oh, that did work. I converted it into a tuple. Yeah, okay. Makes sense that this would work. I was concerned that it might, 
um, just wrap this list in a tuple. But it did actually do what I wanted and it converted this thing into a from a list to a tuple. All right, we can go through the next one. Let's see what we got here. All right, see how our list is building out. Cool, looking good to me. So now if we return that answer, that should be correct. Fingers crossed, this doesn't work. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Run it, hey, check, there we go, perfect. 